Hello, tubers! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. And thank you for watching Cooper Tie Adventure. Welcome back. Today we are at Mirage Condominium and I've saved the best one for last. This is our personal favorite and uh, you'll see why shortly. And um, it is in Banks Array and only 200 meters from the beach. So it is very, very close. Nice, comfortable walk, five to seven minutes. You can't beat it. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. And by the way, I have to put out an announcement. This building here is also pet friendly, depending on the size of the room that you want. They will um, allow you to have pets different sizes depending on the size of the room that you want so anywhere from 10 to 20 kilos so plus 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 if you got a one bedroom or a two bedroom you can have the bigger pet and they do have undercover parking so you got complete parking here for and they also have bicycles for rent look at this bicycles that you can use and go around and just go around town they got a little baskets at the front i'm absolutely loving it that they have the bicycles here that you can use and all the condominiums we're going to show you today uh, in this building we have a studio a one bedroom and a two bedroom they don't have wash machines but guess what they have laundry service so the laundry company will come here collect your laundry from the, the lobby area here at the front they'll go wash it they'll uh, iron it they'll fold it for you and then they will bring it back and call you and leave it at reception for you absolutely brilliant i'm loving it loving it loving it poor darlene she has to do all our laundry because she doesn't have those facilities where we live also to get back to the community what we've done is we've created a facebook group with almost 600 of our subscribers on there we talk about stuff on there that we cannot talk about in youtube so if you'd like to join it's very easy hit the thumbs up button on any one of our videos followed by the subscribe we get notified on the youtube analytics then come to the banner that darlene's posted here right next to my picture and go to cooper's tie adventure community on facebook answer the four easy questions with number one are you a subscriber do you support the community rules and the admin rules and why do you want to join i've just subscribed to your channel and guess, guess what you're in the group and we have so many people that are already here over 100 people from our channel have now moved out here to, to our area and they're loving it and they're giving so much great advice to you the new people that want to come out here so a plus plus so without further ado let's go in and look at the condominiums stay tuned here we are outside the first room this is the studio room and it's room 306 on the third floor on the door here you do have the electronic key card entry system there and directly in front of me you have your samsung refrigerator two-door refrigerator a decent size uh, freezer there not too bad as everything you buy here in thailand tends to be fresh so you're not going to have a lot of frozen in there unless you like some ice cream uh, but it also has the ice cube maker there so that's quite handy and it comes with a samsung refrigerator just uh sorry samsung microwave just here up here is your fuse box i've opened the cupboards for ease of access you got a couple mugs it does come with a toaster and a kettle here you do have cutlery in the top drawer and then you have plenty of bowls and plates here that's your under sink compartment and in this one here i'm gonna open it because they just to show you that they give you plenty of pots and pans there so uh absolutely plus plus right there so over this side you have your uh electric hob here to to burn a hob you do have two plug sockets just there so the, you got room for your toaster and your kettle and then your extractor fan just here that pulls out it helps if i close this cupboard cooper and there you go it's got a light and uh you can hear it going off there this cupboard here is just empty, but uh, just gives you a basic idea of the sizes of what you get in here. Oh, and oh, by the way, in the middle one here, there is a cutting board directly opposite the kitchen. You have your wardrobe. So uh, you slide it across like that. And there you go. There's your wardrobe. You have, even have a couple coat hangers and there's a rail going across here and a space up there at the top for your suitcase. And there's also a couple of shelves here down the bottom which is ideal 
to put another suitcase. So uh, plenty of room and the light does come on. And you got a couple drawers there. Very nice. So let's go have a look inside the bathroom. Let's see if I can find the light switches here. There we go, got the light switch. And this is a nice bathroom. I really like how it's designed. You have the two plugs directly over here and you have plenty of counter space here uh, along with your sink. You got two little cupboard holes there and you got your water heater. So great that you don't brush your teeth and with cold water, nobody likes that. And another two little cupboards over that side. So plenty of uh, storage space in the bathroom. Also, you have your toilet here, your bum gum, your toilet roll holder, and there's a shelf here at the back. And then a place there to put three uh, towels there, so plus, plus, plus. And your shower looks directly into the bedroom. So uh, you can stand in here, I'm gonna come inside and just take a look, because it does have waterfall. And I always like to do a height test. Because I'm six foot tall and the last thing I, I hate is this thing here touching me right on the head. And I'm six foot, so that's got to be about seven and a half foot right there. So uh, if you're taller than me, you're six foot five or six foot six, you still got a foot of room and it's not going to be touching your head. Plus, plus. And then you get your hot and cold water system that uh, connects to your hot water there through under your sink. It's throughout. So bonus there, let's go uh, take a look into the bedroom area. And here you go, this is the bedroom area. So you got a nice decent sized bed here. You have two bedside tables that are built in either side, complete with the lamps as well. And uh, also a couple of plugs. So you do have a plug there for a lamp and there's also additional plug if you wanna charge your phone or tablet or anything else. Uh, your watch, like I've got, that I put on a wireless charger, you can put that, put one of them there, and there you go. And again, on the other side, there's also the two plugs, but there's also two light switches. So while you're laying in bed, watching this TV here, it's a sharp, flat screen, smart TV, uh, and you're tired and you want to turn off the lights and go to sleep, you got the light switch right there beside the bed. So plus plus there. You also have a couple of drawers uh, just here underneath the uh, TV unit that uh, open up. There we go. They pull out like that. So they're more like cupboards, I suppose. Couple of display shelves. And then you have your LG dual inverter aircon unit. And it is on and running. Let's do a sound test. Listen to that, nice and quiet. Uh, a lot of people ask me, hey Cooper, when you're filming these places, please turn the aircon unit on because uh, you know I wanna know if it's a, got a noisy aircon unit as one place I stayed in before, I had a really noisy aircon and was difficult to sleep. Well, this one, I can hear absolutely nothing. It does have a very small balcony here, which uh, we'll just go out and take a look at. Uh, so you could, possibly fit one chair there and just sit out here and enjoy the view and this road here um, right here where this uh, bridge is that is Sukhumvit Road and takes you directly to Na Jomtien, Jomtien and then followed by Patia so it is a straight road that goes right down there and how far is it from my place to here uh, where I live in Jomtien about 20 minutes so it's not that far at all and you can get a bolt uh, which is like what we in the West, we call Uber, but they are incredibly, incredibly cheap here. So um, they're about 20% of the cost as they are in America. One of my subscribers, Mr. Washington, he said to me that he got a bolt from, the, uh, from his place, well, Uber from his place to the airport. It was like a 15 minute ride and they charged him $90. Wow. <laughs> so I bet you're interested in the prices for this place. And the prices uh, for this place, if you do it on a one month rental is going to be 11,000 baht a month. If you do it on a six month rental, they'll drop it down to 10,000 a month. If you do it to for one year, they will drop it down again to 9,000 baht a month. And you are only a five minute walk to the beach. You are very, very close to the beach. And you'll see when we go upstairs exactly how far you are from the beach. 
Also, they uh, they inform me they do have Wi-Fi here um, that uh, you, you they put the router in your room and it's a fee of 500 baht. What's that? That's about 14, 13 and a half dollars a month thereabouts with today's exchange rate for a month. So it's actually very, very cheap and um, uh, cable TV as well. So how about the electric and the water? Well, the uh, electric for this one is uh, 5.5 baht per unit and the water is 35 baht per unit. So not bad, good prices there as well. So um, let's go up and take a look at the next rooms. We got two more to show you. And also the amenities they have here and what's nearby. Stay tuned. So here we are one floor up on the fourth floor and this is room 410 and is the one bedroom. This one bedroom is uh, 34 square meters. Again, you have the key system here on the door, which is great. And you even have a little looking glass. So if you got somebody coming knocking on your door, there you go, you look through and decide whether you want to say you're home or not. <laughs> So directly as you come in to the right, you have the bathroom and it's got the Jack and Jill uh, door system into the bedroom. So we'll go look at that a little bit later from the other side. And this is the kitchen area. So you have the LG refrigerator just here and freezer. You have Electrolux microwave. Up here is your fuse box. And I've left the cupboards open for ease of access. And we have a kettle and a toaster here, along with several mugs and glasses here. In the drawer just here, you have your cutlery. You have your two hob burner here with a frying pan and a pot there. Plenty of uh, steak knives here and cutting knives and scissors and bread knives. Uh, they got it all there. And there's even a knife sharpener just here, handy. And you get the two plugs here. Here you have your electrical hob. So you, straightforward and easy. Just like downstairs, you pull it out and there it goes. It comes on and you have a button here if you want to turn the light switch on. So very, very handy. Close that up. And around to the back, you have a four seater dining table. So that's a very nice and already set up. So you know what cutlery and plates and uh, bowls that you're getting already because they're already there set out for you on the table just like a nice hotel room and then you got a sofa and this sofa here does pull out to a bed so down here at the bottom you got this lip here you pull that out uh, I can't do it with one hand and move the table but uh, you've seen plenty of them and how they work you have two additional plugs just here beside the sofa so if you want to put a lamp there beside the sofa you could do and then you got a couple plugs here also by the dining room table. The room does cover with cove lighting and I know when you film it on YouTube, it tends to flicker, but when you're here in the room, it doesn't. It's something to do with the camera effect and the lighting for the cove lighting. So uh, don't worry about that. The, you have TCL here and this one has already got the Wi-Fi connected right there and uh, the router so it's only 500 baht for that it's the same rate as the studio that we showed you down below as far as electricity and water and internet are concerned and this one here you have a dual inverter um lg aircon let's do a sound test see is it noisy is it disturbing anybody and look at that very very quiet so let's see how this balcony looks. Well, this balcony in the one bedroom is a lot bigger than the studio. And you have plenty of room here for a table and uh, two chairs. You do have the LG fans on the balcony, but, um, and I say in many of my videos, that's sort of a turnoff for me, unless they have these fan blades. And what they do is they're excellent. They take the heat from the exhaust here and they blow it out that way. So it's not blowing when you're sitting here enjoying your nice cup of tea or cup of coffee, uh, toast or whatever. In the morning, if you want to sit out on your balcony, and enjoy the fresh air, that heat is not blowing at you. It is blowing away from you. So absolutely plus plus for them uh, putting these fan blades on them because without them, it could be a nightmare sitting out here on the balcony, on balconies, because you're, you're trying to enjoy yourself a cup of coffee and then it's hot, it's humid out here, and then you've got 
um, these these fans blowing straight at you so a big big no-no for me but when they put these on there they make all the difference in the world and you get no heat and you're just sitting here enjoying the sea breeze so you're not getting any heat from the extractor and just right here I'm not sure how well it's going to come out on the camera but I can see it perfectly well is you do have a partial sea view so I can actually see the ocean here uh, just above the trees there uh, again on the camera it makes everything look miles away from uh, how far it actually is but you see this building right here this one right there that one is right on the beach and you are just a short walk to the beach and I'm going to show you this road right here you go down this road about a about a hundred meters uh, maybe 70 meters like that and you turn left or 70 yards i'm sorry i'm american you turn left by this blue and white building right here which is very close to you and you turn left and it takes you straight down to the beach so it is literally at a foreigner's pace about five six minute walk to the beach you can't beat it you are so so close to the beach here in this condominium so let's go have a look at the bedroom and then we'll go over the prices And this is the bedroom and again you have the same size bed as you do in the studio downstairs and I've already done a mattress test and look at that I'm pushing on it it's soft so it's not one of the Thai style hard mattresses that are gonna break your back so absolutely brilliant thumbs up for that one you do have the dual lamp systems and the built-in um, lamp stands there so uh, bedside table if you want to call them that I call them lamp stands but yeah it's the same exact thing and again you do have an air con in the bedroom I've got it on let's get up there for the sound test nice and quiet I can't even hear it and it's lovely and cool in here there is no TV in the bedroom but they do have the setup there if you want to put a TV you have the stand here you have the two plugs and you have the cable point just there so let's check behind the bedroom door where the wardrobe is and it's pretty much similar to the one downstairs it's just located inside the bedroom rather than opposite the kitchen so this one here you do still have the light you got plenty of hanging space it does come with a laundry basket and i know you're going to say in the comments hey cooper there's no wash machine where the heck do we do the laundry well guess what <laughs> I spoke to the agent and I asked the same question because if I was going to rent here, that'd be one of the questions I want to know. Where are you going to do your laundry? There's no wash machine here. And she says, oh, we have laundry service. I said, excuse me? She said, yeah, we have laundry service. They will come out to your condominium. You meet them downstairs in the lobby. They take your clothes away. They call you when it's done and they deliver it plus 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 you don't have to carry laundry down the street because there's no wash machine in your condominium they'll go out and do it for you you can ask them to iron it they'll iron it and they'll they'll fold it all up nice and neat and it smells really good so if you want also you can give them your own detergent and say hey you know um i prefer this smell can you wash my clothes with this and you give them the detergent packet that you can buy from 7-eleven here the little packets or you can buy the i would only give them a little one i wouldn't give them a big one because you probably wouldn't see it again so give them the little packet they they, they, they sell here just for the single wash and uh, just give them one of them every time you want them to do the laundry and they'll do it for you no problem so let's go ahead and take a look inside of the bathroom on this one so you have a door going into the bathroom from your bedroom and it is the Jack and Jill sit door system so the other door goes out into the kitchen and the hallway so you have your toilet here and they also give you this mat here absolutely great you put it down here by your shower area so that way when you're taking a shower you don't have to worry about slipping as you're coming out again you do have a towel rail here for three towels you have your bum gun there's a trash can there's a toilet cleaner uh, brush there and a toilet paper holder here again you have the sink here and a large very large mirror hi guys and girls you also have the two plugs here remember it is 220 not 110 like it is in the states so be aware of that uh, hair dryers and straightened irons tend to be the ones with the most problem but if you have a cell phone or a laptop or a tablet they are all dual voltage so you really don't have to worry about them 
Again, in the bathroom, you have the sliding door system here for the shower. And I'm going to do a height test. I want to know if this one is the same. And it is a little bit lower. But guess what? You twist this knob right here and you could raise it and lower it as much as you want. So it is a plus, plus, plus. This one here is set at about six and a half feet. But you can raise it all the way up to ceiling level to seven and a half feet. So absolute plus there. I like that they incorporated that into this one where you can actually extend it and then you tighten it with just this knob right here so uh double plus so let's go out on the balcony and talk prices welcome back we're out here with my trusted wife and lovely assistant miss darlena and uh she's going to go over the prices for you so what's the uh, prices on this unit for rental honey so this is a one bedroom condo unit 34 square meter the prices for rental is Thirteen thousand five hundred for a month, mm -hmm. but if you were gonna rent for minimum six months, it will get go down to twelve thousand five hundred baht, and for a year contract, it will gonna go down to eleven thousand baht. And the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, it's optional. If you want a Wi-Fi, you have to pay five hundred baht to the juristic monthly, and cable TV goes with a Wi-Fi. You know the cable with the Wi-Fi. That's yeah. the one that they're using. Yes. And the electric is 5.5 baht per, per unit, unit. And the water is 35 baht per unit. You know what I noti noticed here? What's that, honey? It's cheaper in here, the water and, and electricity. Than because what it is for us in yeah, Jantian. Yes. There, it's like 40, 40 baht per unit. 45, 45 we're 40, paying. 45 mm. per unit for water and then electricity is like 8 baht. Depending uh, if you can find one yeah. with government rate and uh, unfortunately ours is not. So uh, yeah, you are getting a heck of a discount living out here and you're absolutely right. Yeah, because most most of the condo units that we film, mm -hmm. most of them, the electricity, if it's not government rate, the electricity is 8 baht per unit. Yeah. And this is a plus. Look, it's not too hot in here. We're, what time is it? 12? 11, mm -hmm. 11, 12. So we're at midday. Yeah. yeah. And the beauty is that you're facing, uh, yes. you're facing no north. So when you're facing north, the sun rises on the east, settles on the west. And with you facing north, you've got absolutely no problem with uh, the sun coming on the balcony and heating the room. So Darlene is absolutely right. Plus, plus, plus. So let's go and look at the next room and then the facilities. Stay tuned. And here we are on the final room. This one here is on the seventh floor and it is room 711 and it is the two bedroom. So let's go take a look inside. Hello and welcome to the lovely Bangsare again. Now we're here at the two bedroom condo unit. It's 49 square meters. So as soon as you enter the door, let's check the bathroom. Oh, it has a Jack and Jill door here. The other door to your bedroom. You have your toilet, bum gun, tissue holder, and your bin, and your hanging rack. So when you want to wash your underwear, you can hang it here. Too. Oh my God, I can't <laughs> believe you said that. <laughs> and then you have your sink here, your hot and cold water faucet. For, this is for your hand soap. Hand, yeah, hand, hand, hand soap and your two plugs here with your mirror. And let's check the let's check the cabinet. What's in here? Oh, you have your uh, what do you call that? Water heater. Water heater. Yep. Water heater check, and this is your small. It's small shower, but it will do. Yeah, it's actually quite nice yeah. size. So you have the rainfall shower and your telephone. I call it a telephone, but I don't <laughs> Handheld. <it>. Yeah. <laughs> and something to put your soap on. Yeah, okay. ideal. And again, this one extends so you can even make it higher. Yeah. Okay, let's go and check the living area. Now let's check the kitchen. Here you have your a standard refrigerator when you're going to the condo this is your standard refrigerator this is the standard size yes and you have your electrolux microwave in here this is where your fuse box is here i saw that you already have your toaster and kettle and a little bit of yeah, cups glasses and 
tea cups and teapot and deep sink mm. for hot burner your plugs here to put your thing in here there's another cupboard here this is where your utensils are and another drawer and i didn't check this oh, oh look at this you even comes with oh, a you have a blender here blender too. and what is that what is this i have no idea it looks like a little medicine cabinet yeah i think it's a medicine because it says ghost pad yeah so this first aid kit there and as well what do you call that fire oh, extinguisher uh, there's a fire extinguisher <laughs> yep so you're safe now let's go to the bedroom let's check the bedroom i think this is the bigger bedroom yes i think so, it's a little bit bigger than the other, other yeah, one yeah this is this door goes to the bathroom as you saw earlier and this is your cabinet where you can put your, you have your co hangers here towels and there's a little bit of things here inside and great you have the light it comes with an umbrella as well and a beach beach towel there's a chess board there and yes. a checkerboard so wow so when first time i've seen a condominium with that yeah and bed soft test oops it's not hard it's not hard so it's, it's nice and hard. soft plus yes. plus you have your bedside table your light your plugs two plugs and oh my god this is what i like here the light switch yes, yes from the bed so you don't have to get out of the bed and turn out the light like we have to and you have space here to put your things to your phone when you're going to sleep or your books when you're when you finish reading and here you ha you can put your tv in here what size is this like 40 uh, you could get i think you can get away with about a 55 inch tv there looking at the space and you have your cable tv, TV point board. I don't know how you open. yeah push to open ah uh, okay what uh, the good thing here is this one you can hide the cables the cables because mm. they have this so you can hide it here underneath yeah then you have two what do you call this display shelves yeah to put your display and look at this what look, an amazing look view look at your view and i love these big bay windows that go f almost from floor to ceiling I really, really do. That gets loads and loads of light in here. Oh my God. That one reminds me of, what is that in Greece? Santorini. Yes. Santorini, Santorini Greece. Yeah, it's sort of blue and white design there. Yeah. <laughs> now let's check the living area. Enough for the chismis. You have another trash bin here. Yep. You have the, here your four-seater dining table. Mm. See, it's already set up. You already have your cutleries, your, your what do you call this, your plates, and so on and so forth and whatnot. You have another lamp in here and a display. You can get rid of, the, of that. And you have two-seater sofa in here. Yes, and it pulls out to a bed as well. Is it? Y yes, you can pull the bottom oh, out. Yeah. I've had a look, and it'll fold out uh, for a bed. So it, it. Yeah, but don't make me pull it. <laughs> no, it is a bit of a chore to do. <laughs> you have your TV here. What size is this? This is about a I'm fifty inch, uh, and it's a high sense TV. So it's about 45, 50 inch thereabouts. Yeah, and as you can see, you already have your router in here. Mm -hmm. So it's optional if you want to pay for your internet. 500 baht a month and it comes along with your cable tv but if you don't want then you have a choice yeah and you have display in here and this is your second bedroom this is your spare room yes yes this is your second bedroom the same size of the mattress and yeah. soft also very nice and soft i wish i know we already bought our mattresses and <laughs> I think this is the master because look at this it's bigger than the other one yeah but the bed space is a little bit smaller than the other yeah. room this, this one one's got the better confused. view so i would probably use this as the master yeah it makes me confused the the with the yours, lovely sea view the cabinet is bigger so you have the laundry here laundry mm. basket here go hangers towels drawers because the other one is small Wait, how are they going to close? There you go. Okay. And 
here. You can put your TV here. You can put another TV yes, there. Yes, this is your remote for your aircon. I don't know how how many horsepower I can. Uh, that's about a two horsepower aircon, which is fabulous. It's cooling this room down nicely. It's 17 degrees. It's showing on the aircon, and I can't hear any noise. It's no. really really quiet. No, even here outside, look at this. It's really quiet. And then you have this amazing, oh my amazing God. sea view. So let's go out on the balcony and talk about prices. Stay tuned. Welcome back. We are on the balcony, and I just want to point out the LG extractor fans. Even though they don't have the guards with the air going away from you, they are facing out. So they are facing out this way, not on your balcony. So plus, plus, plus there. Look at this amazing, amazing sea view you got here. Let me get my finger right in line with the camera. You got an amazing sea view there that goes all the way across. And I can actually see, but it probably won't come out in the camera, is right down here at the back. I can clearly see Jom Tien and uh, Na Jom Tien just over there around the bay. And i give you an idea how big this balcony is. Here you go. It is a very long balcony. You have a drainage here. And you have a drainage there if you wanted to put your own wash machine. Yeah. So plus, plus, plus. You have a table and oh, uh, two this. chairs. You already have an ashtray. Yeah. For those that like a cigar with a glass of wine like me, uh, I smoke out on the balcony. Uh, so it the smell doesn't get inside the house and most of the places out here will let you smoke in the balcony but very strict rules about smoking indoors so without further ado uh, let's join my lovely wife Darlene and let's talk about this condominium so what is the size of this two bedroom babe this is a two, this is a two bedroom unit 49 square meter and it's for rent okay yeah I, I'm still mesmerized with the view it is it's, a beautiful it's, view. It's it's quiet and it's so quiet oh well. and peaceful. Oh well, let's go to the prices. So yeah. if you want to rent it for a month, it's twenty three thousand baht. Okay. For minimum six months, it's twenty two thousand baht, and for a year contract, it's twenty one thousand baht. So electric is five point five baht per unit, and water is thirty five baht per unit. Again, the Wi-Fi is optional. If you want to pay the Wi-Fi, it's five hundred a month to the juristic. But if you don't want the Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi, it's your choice. It it comes along with the cable TV, so mm. I think it's Plus. better to use it. <laughs> and again, you have the laundry service. They will come and collect your laundry, uh, wash it, iron it, fold it, and bring it back to you. Yes. Uh, right to your front door. Plus, plus, yes, plus. Yes, you're so just going to put it outside. We don't have that service. You have to do yeah. it all, unfortunately. I wish we had that service where we live. And they were going to pick it up for you. Yeah. Absolute bonus there. Yeah. And again, before we uh, go outside and uh, also look at the amenities look at that amazing amazing sea view and this is how close it is um, i'm sitting out here on the balcony it is lunchtime i don't see any chickens i don't see any roosters i don't see any dogs anything that's going to disturb this peaceful serenity uh, feeling that i have right now by standing here on the balcony and looking at this amazing amazing sea view just listen to it it's just so quiet even the dog is so peaceful walking to the i don't see any walk. dogs there's They're no dog in the street oh you found a dog yeah uh, that's that dog there belongs to the security guard it's yeah. with him so it's his personal dog there yes so peaceful uh, very very peaceful so let's go take a look at the amenities and then we'll do a little walking tour outside and show you what's nearby stay tuned so we are on the eighth floor the roof level and let's just take a look and see what facilities this place has straight off in front of you you have a locker area there and just around here to the left it says there's a sauna room so let's go take a look and here you go there's actually two sauna rooms so you have a sauna room for boys just here and take a look inside yeah you could sit about six men there three on each shelf there and then you have the sauna room for the ladies here, which is absolutely identical. And then you have a small gym, but very nice. And it does come with an air con, so uh, you'll stay nice and cool in here. It's got uh, this sort of pull-up machine here. It's got a couple treadmills. It's got a sit-down bicycle. 
um, which is a little bit different because you can adjust this so you're moving your legs forward rather than up and down on a normal bicycle. And then you have plenty of free weights here. So let's take a look at the view. And they've got the two bay windows open here at the side. And look at this for a view. We're looking out at the other side. And just over here, that is Sukhumvit Road just there. And you can clearly see Buddha Temple right here in front of you. And the town is just here. And you can even see the beach right from there. So let's go take a look and see what else they have. Stay tuned. So coming out onto the open area, you have artificial grass here on the floor. It's not real grass, but there are uh, two toilets here, both for men and women here on the top level. And it comes complete with a yoga room. Look at this. So you have a yoga room there with the mats and uh, you can relax. There is also air con in there, so plus, 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 but wait till you see this. You have a common area up here, bar area. So if you wanted to have some guests over, um, you are allowed to use this. It's available for anyone so that lives here. So you can use this area. You can chill out here. There is air con. There is a refrigerator. There is a two hob burner and there is a microwave and you have the bar area here. But wait till I show you outside because uh, this one, I really, really love what this building has to offer here. You have all this seating area here and here with the shade of the roof here if you want to sit in the shade and not out in the sun. But look at this, it comes complete with a barbecue, a communal barbecue, there you go. And it is a smoker. So there you go, you got the uh, char griller grills and smoker. So absolutely brilliant if you wanted to put some firewood in there, some chips, uh, fire chips, you could smoke your uh, beef or your pork before you grill it. So plus, 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 so you get that beautiful smoke taste. So let's go have a look at the pool. I am loving what I'm seeing here in this building. Let me know in the comments what you guys think and girls, because uh, this one is probably the best I've seen so far in Banks Array. And here we go. It has an affinity pool just up the steps. And Darlene is loving it. She's already out there taking selfies. You have uh, five loungers here that are in a little bit of water. So just there, you have the stairs going down into the ladder, going down into the pool. And then you also have a seating area out here with a couple of tables, ideal to sit out here with a nice cold beer or a glass of wine and watch the sunset come right over the sea view here. So let's take a look a little bit further around about how far this pool goes. And there is also steps here going down. I see, I could, I'm not sure how well it comes out on the camera, but there's one, two, three, four, five steps and you're in the pool. And then there is an additional step right here to go into the deeper section of the water. So be careful, um, just bear in mind that there's one more step and then you're in the deep end. And again, look at this amazing view, folks. I really, really wish I could live in this building. This would be absolutely awesome. Only problem for me is being a YouTuber, um, I would have to commute every day from here to Patia. And uh, with how long it takes to film the videos, edit the videos, and so much work that we're doing for the community around there, uh, it wouldn't be fair to them either. So I can but dream maybe when my YouTube channel is finished and I've done helping everybody that needs our help, uh, maybe we'll hang up our boots and take a look and say, hey, do you have a room here available? I'm now 92 years old and I'm looking for somewhere to live. So let's go take a look outside. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So we are outside the condominium. I'm just going to show you that I am actually outside the gate and we're just going to go take a trip down here to the beach and a little bit of the town to show you what's around. Why am I driving instead of walking if I say it's this close? Because I have my wife with me right here and also our assistant, Miss Nung in the back. And we all want to go down and take a look at the beach and walk around the town. And it'd be a shame to walk all that way and then have to come back here and pick up the pickup truck. So we're going to drive and show you and um, how close it actually all is. 
So just up here on the left, I'm gonna pass the camera over to Darlene because I'm driving, so I wanna be legal. You turn left just here, so it's about 50 yards away from the condominium. And this soy here, it takes you straight down to the beach. So a nice, easy, quiet road. You don't have to worry about lots of traffic come up and down here. And uh, you got plenty of trees here for the shade. And uh, there you go. You can probably just make out the end of the road there. And that is the beach and how close we are. Loving it, loving it, loving it. And my speed is only 20 kilometers an hour, so I'm going very slow. Darlene's just asked me how fast am I driving. I'm only going 20 kilometers an hour. So for us, it's literally going to take us two minutes to get to the beach. You can go back and start the video from when I drove uh, to get to the beach, and uh, you'll see the distance that way. That it is indeed only 200, 250 yards thereabouts to the beach. So uh, absolutely ideal five to seven minute walk. And here you are. We are now at the crossroad on Beach Road here in Jomtien. We're going to turn left here and I'll show you uh, the view from here and just borrow the camera from my wife. Darling, while there's no traffic behind me, you could probably see just over here in the distance, straight over here by this man that's crossing the street, that there is not Jomtien and Jomtien is just here. So it is not that far around by the bay absolutely ideal we took a jet ski here and uh it did not take us long at all to get here it took us about 15 minutes from there to here in a jet ski so uh very nice and you do have a small beach here it's not a very large beach but um and i see people fishing on the beach and people swimming in there so uh very very nice and enjoyable oh, look at the kids having fun there in the water enjoying themselves i'm just cruising along at 10 kilometers an hour how fast is that uh, about five six miles an hour so i'm cruising along nice and slowly here so uh with no traffic behind me so i can uh, give you this view of what you have here in banks array absolutely beautiful little fishing village and just up here ahead of me Oh, by the way, there are plenty of foreigners here. There you go. There's one of our subscribers, Wendy, there. We just passed her. <laughs> Hello, Wendy. If you're watching the video, we just passed you. Yep. Wendy, uh, sorry, Linda. That was Linda, one of our subscribers I just passed. She was uh, there on the beach. Yeah, I just saw her, honey. Uh, so, uh, hello to Linda. She's just moved down here, and she's loving it, loving it, loving it. And then for those of you that are wondering, there are plenty of parking spaces here uh, along by the beach uh, for you to park your cars or your motorbike and uh, enjoy an afternoon on the beach or early morning beach walk. There's also food stalls and they're playing a little bit of Thai music there. And then you have Fisherman's Wharf restaurant just up here on the right and uh, delicious seafood. There are beach bars here, just like we have in Jomtien and Patia. They have them uh, along here, along the coast. And plenty of uh, restaurants. Darling's now taking over the camera. And this really is a beautiful, beautiful coastal village. I am loving it, every part of it. It's uh, just so nice and uh relaxing oh he's just lost his hat off the scooter is he gonna stop and get it yep <laughs> i made sure and avoided it there you go the two boys are gonna stop and go back and pick up his baseball hat <laughs> and then uh also here uh on the left and right hand side you got plenty of uh things to, uh, for the kids if you could bring in kids with you there's a uh, little water uh things that they can take in there blow-ups inflatables you got plenty of restaurants and bars and little coffee shops going down this beach road and then there is on the right hand side you'll see the red boys that area there is for the swimmers so they don't have to worry about the boats or the jet skis or even the jellyfish as uh, we do get seasonal jellyfish here uh, so the peace of mind don't go swimming after it rains <laughs> My best advice to give to you and here we are we're coming into the center uh, part of banks array you can see the sign there 
and even more eateries uh, going along here on the left so you're not gonna have a problem finding anything to eat they even got a little naval ship here on the right here on display um, as this is a marine area and is protected uh, you've got the tour buses come down here um, they like coming down to the buffets here and the nice little quiet village and uh, and uh, come down for you know a couple hours and enjoy it because it is really really beautiful and they're building a new theme park here by the way uh, Columbia's picture Aquaverse and it's gonna be uh, world's best new theme park says CNN we'll have to see for that one and yeah this is where the tourists like to come the seafood restaurant here as you get the fresh catch of the day so you can guarantee the what you're eating there is absolutely fresh and it is packed inside there really really packed here on my right hand side and even more seafood restaurants all the way down here uh, is, uh lots and lots of seafood restaurants Fishermen go out, catch it daily, sell it to the restaurants, or maybe they they own the restaurant themselves and they're bringing the fresh catch in uh, for their customers that uh, want to come and enjoy a good uh, seafood meal. There you go. And even more seafood restaurants just here. Coming up here, we're about to come around a left-hand bend, and you will see X, um, Banks Array Town Center. And here you go. This is the start of Bangsaray Town Center. And you have a Thai temple here on the left. If you like looking at Thai temples, they are absolutely beautiful inside. The Thais do a fantastic job with their temples. Or maybe you just want a blessing from the monk. Uh, they're more than happy to give you a blessing. Give you some uh, good luck for your retirement. Maybe uh, finding that perfect woman for you and settling down. Also, did I mention our agent Nung is single? <laughs> uh, over here on the left, you have a 7-Eleven and a pharmacy. Plenty of shops on both the left and right hand side. There's another 7-Eleven directly opposite. And I learned something new from uh, Mr. Brooke Schneider yesterday. Uh, we were checking to see who, which country's got the most 7-Elevens in the world. And the first one is Japan, followed by the second one, South Korea. The third one is Thailand, and it's got over 13,000 uh, 7-Elevens here in Thailand. And then the fourth one is the USA. So there you go. It's something uh, uh, we learned in a little bit of a trivial that we were doing while driving. And um, one of our subscribers we met the other day, uh, he just asked the group in a Facebook group, uh, hey guys, let's do something for Halloween. Let's go to, uh, hang on, I gotta think of the name of the restaurant. Um, Fraser's Restaurant, Fraser's Sports and Bar Restaurant. And uh, there was about 15 of us that met there. And he said, you know what, Cooper, you should put an Easter egg in all of your videos. So that way uh, you can ask at the end of the video and see who watched it all the way through. So there you go. Let us know what place, if you watch this all the way to the end, let us know in the comments below, uh, what place is Thailand in the world for its uh, 7-Elevens in the uh, top 10. And this is beautiful Banks Array. Over to the left, they have another 7-Eleven, and behind that 7-Eleven, they have a market, and the market is open all day, so absolutely great. It's open during the day and also during the night, and it's just here on the left behind this 7-Eleven. You can probably see the uh, white tents overhead. That is the market. So uh, if you like going there and uh, shopping for your food and getting the fresh food, there you go. You enter here on the left and go in and 
enjoy yourselves. Also, a little bit further up here on the left-hand side, you do have a Lotus Mini Mart. So we're coming up here to Lotus Go Fresh, and uh, it is a big, very big uh, supermarket chain here in Thailand. So there you go on the left-hand side right there. I'll get Darlene to pan the camera. And you got Lotus Go Fresh right there on your doorstep, and you got Mr. DIY right next door. So until next time, wherever you are, thank you so much for watching Cooper's Thai Adventure. And please hit that thumbs up and a subscribe if you haven't already done so. It really means the world to us. God bless you all. Take care and stay tuned.